This video is intended for system administrators and Visual Effects supervisors who'd like to take advantage of Fusion's bin server to share a common set of bins with all of the artists facility-wide. The bins are a common workspace that all artists can use to store tool settings, tools, macros, fuses, images, image sequence, or even PDFs or Maya scenes or any other common assets that are related to the production of that shot. To open the bins, the artist can use the toolbar button at the top of the interface, or they can use File, Bins, or the Control b keyboard shortcut. All artists, whenever they launch Fusion, will automatically have access to a local copy of their bins called the Library on Localhost. And as we can see, there is a hierarchy of folders underneath there. However, what we want to do is set up a bin on a remote server. In this case, the server will be Jane, which is my personal license server. Ideally, you'll pick a server which is available for 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. The bin server takes very few network resources, or CPU, or memory resources, so feel free to put it on a weak machine. Ideally, you don't want to put it on a system which will be rendering. In this case, you can see that we've already configured our library on Jane, and so we also have these folders here. Since Jane is a system accessible to all of the systems on the network, every artist will have access. To begin with, I'll show you how you create the bin server, install it as a service, and then we'll show you how to configure your workstations to use those bins. To install the bin server, we first need to copy several files from a standard Fusion installation over to the machine which will be running the server. In particular, the files we're going to need are ionscript.dll, ionscript.exe, ionserver.exe. We'll also need a copy of iup2.5.dll and lua5.1.dll. Right-click and copy those files into your clipboard or drag and drop them into a folder which is on or accessible to the server machine. Then paste them into that folder. Once you've got those five files into the folder, you're going to need to open up a command prompt on the server machine. Navigate to the folder where you've copied those files and we'll type uh, ionserver.exe with the slash question mark argument in order to see a full list of the options that are available. In this case, we're going to want to have Ion Server running all the time, so we're going to install it as a service, which we do by running Ion Server with the dash i or the dash dash install command line argument. Now at first it will appear nothing has happened, but if we use net start and then Ion Server, Now that will start the service that's been installed and leave it running. You may need to go into the control panel to ensure that that service is set up to always run. To confirm that the service is running and working properly, to have a look to see if there's been a folder called icons and a folder called libraries created in the install folder. These are the folders that contain the various settings and they'll be created automatically when startup happens. Now that the bin server is running, we need to configure the clients, or the individual copies of Fusion, so that they'll connect to the bin server. To begin with, we select File, Preferences, then we go into the Globals panel, and locate the Bin Servers subpanel. We want to add a new server, so we select the Add button, then we type in the name of the, or the IP address of the destination server. In this case, my server's name is Jane, and we'll leave the user as guest and the password as empty. Leave all other fields empty. Select Save, and you'll now see that the bins includes a second additional panel on the hierarchy. As in addition to Library on Localhost, there is now a Library on Jane panel, and all of the contents of that bin will be accessible. 